You ready? Yep. That's better. <sighs> yeah, that was the wrong. Yeah. Jam Wayne Swayze presents the Free 99 Podcast. Be sure to follow SoundCloud, iTunes, YouTube, Ohio Radio, Spotify, Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok if search, you're on that. Yeah. Search FRE99 Podcast. Shout out to all the sponsors. Thank you. Shout out to all the listeners. We love you. Uh, Jan in the building. What up, fellas? Uh, JD Fresh what in up? the building. What up, Free 99ers? Hey. Yep. Hey. Uh, Kumo B in the building. There are places I remember all my life. Though some have changed, some forever, not for better. Some have gone and some remain. All these places have their moments with lovers and friends. I still can recall Some are dead And some are living In my life I've loved them all I am the good homie Gus Gus on the surface On episode 209 Stop. 209 Modesto Diaz Brothers What up Yo uh, Free 99 Podcast uh, This is what we like to call A gap episode This is where We do the episode With our pants unbuttoned Mmm Gap or spread open or down to our ankles <laughs> however you take it it depends on how much of this drink we have my Malibu yeah Malibu yeah mm-hmm. thank you Kanye this is actually a really good drink it's a funny story Marvin and I when we were going out uh, in our heyday shout out to Marv shout out to you Marv love you to love you uh we were really we were really into Kanye and uh we started doing these Malibu yeah's and uh we're dumb but it tastes good, Mark. We should try it again. Did, were you so into Kanye? Did you have the double collar shirts? Did you I, double no, collar your shirts? No, no, so I have. A, I can I have, so see you oh, doing no, that no. shit. No, no, no. I have. Okay, look, I have my limits. I didn't do any shutter shades. All right, no shutter shades. Did you? Do I did the, dress up the, like a bear. Did once you do or twice. the collar up like in the back? So shirt off. No, the, the problem with me is I didn't. I at that time I didn't have much of a neck, so it would it would make it just look not right, you know, like a. Like just a head, uh, like a hunchback. Yeah, exactly. It would look like a like a head like, and shoulders. Yeah, it would look like a penis head just kind of peeking like, out of your like, like the dude zipper. from uh, Ninety Day Fiance. <laughs> that's a, that's a, which one? <laughs> there's the, so many. The guy, yeah, the there's guy ninety of them. Oh, Ed, no, I Ed, had some Ed. sort of. Oh, oh yeah. Ed. 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 He always got he got dicked by the Filipino girl, right? Uh, but well, he's a marketing genius. He knew what yeah. he was doing. Yeah, yeah. And now he, he knew found he was someone, doing. right? Yeah, I'm I'm almost certain his name is not Ed, and it's just because it's synonymous with head. Ed two hundred nine. Add to him. What's that? Do you know that song? <laughs> it was it. Uh-huh. That's Robocop. Oh, oh is that his government? Oh. <laughs> no, Robocop's uh, arch nemesis was Ed 209, which was the one that fell down the stairs. Oh, he was in the robot, the shooting robot. He was, yeah, he was a shooting robot. Damn. I think you redo that. I think you redo it. I think so. Damn. I was always scared of the part where he did the surgery on him in the beginning. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Whenever I see, whenever I see certain people who don't, uh, who need to shave the head all the way that didn't shave, I always say they look like RoboCop, like Murph, like Murphy. Murphy. Do you walk up to him like <laughs> Murphy? Murphy. That was that. That was the only movie that guy ever did. Was that movie? Like I heard, really? Yeah. Oh, you got typecasted. And oh. I, I, heard, I heard he was such a he's such a big shot because I think there was like three of them, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. and yeah. I think they're all solid too, right? Yeah, I can't remember any of them. No, but, yeah, yeah I can't the, Ed Two Hundred Nine was, was 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 my only claim to fame to, to Robocop. <laughs> oh and shit! People like who don't shave their heads who need to shave their heads all the way. <laughs> exactly. And then he's like he's somewhere like in the Hollywood like gotcha bitches. But he's got the sick ass cover though, the one with one leg out and then yeah, dude, he's got that stance coming out the car. Yeah, he? yeah. And it was kind of like uh, you know they I don't they were kind of like loose with their ratings of movies back then, right? Yeah. Like, and it was like very gory, right? Or it was yeah, 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 yeah. surgery part. And they're like PG thirteen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was a uh, yeah. Robocop was a flex. They even had a cartoon. It, if your movie did so good, they turned you into a cartoon. Shout out to Ghostbusters. Shout out to Ghostbusters. Shout out to Police Academy for having a cartoon. It was oh, it was drawn yeah. in the same way too, right? Yeah. Shout out to. Oh, they did. Yeah. Shout out to Bobcat Goldthwait. <laughs> yeah. But, oh yeah. I uh, I didn't realize that's not his real voice. <laughs> and same thing with uh, rest in peace that other guy uh, Affleck guy what was his name um, we had Affleck, Affleck guy. Affleck guys you know that guy you mean Sweet Chuck Is, who passed away 
<laughs> yeah, that guy. You know, he's like in like Problem Child, I think. No, no, that's, no that's, he um, was in a Police Academy. No, but that's not his real voice. No, that saying. that is uh, Gilbert Godfrey. Gilbert Godfrey, yeah. Do it again. He's like, "How am I doing?" <laughs> Why do you gotta close your eyes like him? Because he does that. Because I gotta, get, I gotta get into the scene, bro. <laughs> he sounds like uh, that guy who used to read the uh, the um, the cards uh, the, in uh, boxing on HBO. <laughs> Oh, um, all right, Jim. Here's he, what I got so far. He oh was good God. on. Uh, have you ever seen him on uh, like the comedy roast with celebrity? He's roast? the best, oh, yeah. dude. Yeah, he's, he's okay. I like him. really. He's okay. Yeah, who's, he's your, okay. who's your guy? Um, fucking Roastmaster. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it, it's on the spot. It is. Like, it is. Like I, you, you, you can't teach witty. Yeah, he's bad. I like. You him. can't teach time. What about Norm Macdonald though, man? That guy. All right, peace. All right, peace, dude. Yeah. What's Rest up with peace. all of these uh, comedians? Cocaine. It's a hell of a drug. Yeah. Or is it a Bob Saget? R. P. Dude, well, that was like, that was like some weird sex stuff. Right? Oh no no no, that's uh, David Carradine. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, guy. But there's a conspiracy behind that, isn't there? Oh, mm-hmm. that's one of our subjects. Oh, no. segue. So we have uh, we there was an assignment within the group chat uh, to to pick something uh, that you're great. Uh, yeah, something you're grateful something for. Something you're grateful for. Something you're grateful. For. In the and new, then, let's say in the new, in the new, or whatever, just grateful. And then uh, the second one was conspiracy theory. Yeah, just the whole spectrum. Yeah, uh, and it's it could. It could be conspiracy theory that exists in your head. It doesn't have to be one that's that you you could Google. Yeah. It could just be whatever comp- uh, conspiracy theory. Like I need like tin hat stuff. Yeah, for right. sure. Justin, which one do you want to start with? Ooh. Mm, okay, I thought COVID was too easy because that was my original. But, that's okay. Oh, 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 which oh, subject? Oh, do, do you want to do? Oh, what you're grateful? No, no, no. You want to do what you're grateful for, or you want to do uh, yeah. conspiracy theory? I don't know, whatever you guys want to do. No, Justin, your, Justin, you pick hey, conspiracy. Yeah. There you go. I was like, you're new to the show, bro. You got a conspiracy. <laughs> That's uh, conspiracy. I don't. I yeah. I changed my mind from COVID because that was kind of too easy. Like we okay. heard it all. Go ahead. Go ahead. What, man, what's dive your in. What's your conspiracy theory? Mine was in the middle, but it was the Taylor Swift effect on the NFL. Go like, on, teach us. Just yeah. Go ahead. Well, the whole theory is, or conspiracy was, if. The Chiefs, w- <laughs> if the Chiefs win, Taylor Swift was already giving increased revenue to the NFL through Travis Kelsey jerseys. And if the Chiefs win, it pushes that Taylor Swift effect of like just more revenue, merchandise, money driven, money driven, like overtime though. Yeah, you know, like the thing with me is like I'm like I said before, right? Like I believe in some, and then some are just like crazy. Which do you believe in this one? I think it's like half half. Cause I I I've always believed that not just for Taylor Swift but like for betting too. Like yeah. I believe there is a bookie call. A what? Um, like a bookie call. They call it a bookie call when there's a controversial referee call or a sway in the game that the referees could control yeah. to like favor a certain bet. I thought mm. it was I thought it was like a Zoom call that all the bookies call into every Monday or something. So. Uh, Justin, I, does, Justin has never been on a Zoom call. <laughs> I've, oh, I've been on a Zoom call. <laughs> Those are gross. <laughs> so, so your conspiracy theory is that uh, Taylor Swift is a plant in the whole situation, and it, it helped the it helped the Chiefs win. I didn't think she was a plant, but. It's they, just like, hey, this thing is working. Let's roll with it. Do you, you know who Jay Stalin is? Yes. So Jay Stalin, did you see the picture? <laughs> no. uh, you were talking about the with the ex girlfriends? Yeah. Yes. So, so, so Jay Stalin put up. I don't know where he got it, but he put up a picture of Travis Kelsey's last th- uh, last two girlfriends and Taylor Swift. So the last two were banging. Have, okay. have more melanin, Jay, right? Yeah. Uh, Taylor and Nicole, and, and then and then Taylor Swift fly and and and, and, yeah. and then they. They 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 show that you know they're all you know the the donkeys donkey mm-hmm. you know yeah. what I mean yeah they 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 pay attention to leg day and then <laughs> and then there's a picture of Taylor Swift and then Jay Stalin said someone uh, what do you say he goes someone go call Travis Kelsey because it looks like he's fighting air right now exactly oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah like it's like on some boys in the hood stuff <laughs> it's it, that's crazy though because that's a fighting air because that's like because <laughs> that's a that's like a one eighty right it is yeah like like he was uh, Travis Must Kelsey was. Money. Everyone knew he's like blackwashed, right? He's different than his brother. They're oh. brothers. They, so he's like Travis. They, where are they from? Where are they from? They're from uh, New Heights, Cleveland, Ohio. But 
his brother Jason, <laughs> they're like how many years apart? They're, they're less than five years apart, right? Yeah. They did everything together. They grew up in the same bedroom. They have a small family. It's just those two and their parents. Yeah. They're both p- but possibly could have been jacking off at the same time. J- Jason because is. Because they shared a bedroom. <laughs> Are these twins? Possibly. No, no they're not. Like five they're years like, apart, right? Like less than five years, but Jason is totally country. Yeah. He's not into designer clothes. Yeah. And so. Wrangler. He, he, flip-flop. Even flip-flop, like, uh, no socks. I think uh, Jason Kelsey's first Super Bowl, dude, he was like in flip-flops and over. And overall, yeah, wow. And, and you know, and then Travis know is over game. here. He does all the ladies' dances. He dresses all in designer. He's got all the fresh Jordans and designer clothes. Yeah, wow. and, fresh um, fades. And then on a podcast, oh, yeah. they because a lot of football players know. They ask them, "What's your favorite meat and chicken? Yeah, dark or white? Yeah." And they just never. He never had to answer it because they all just started going off. Like everyone knew he liked dark dark meat. Yeah, but you then, know, I, yeah, I heard yeah. dark meat's actually uh, healthier because of the blood flow. But uh, hey. as far as like the game, hey. the Super Bowl goes, I'm kind of like in the middle. I mean, I don't think it's really fully a toast with the fact, but it could be just a Patrick Mahomes being the face of like he's the Curry, like how Curry is to the NBA back then, and like that's wild. If he's a, do they? The do people time, consider him the, the face of the NFL? NFL this of the Warriors. Win. This right here is the face of the NFL. Do you that's think? Crazy. Do you think they would rather have him than uh, than Jamar, uh, Lamar Jackson? Yes. Yes. Patrick Baltimore. Is, uh, Baltimore. Yeah, Patrick. Uh, I think with him, that was the only team that was going to take cap. Was yeah. Baltimore? Yeah, that was going to take cap they, at, at they, the time to take him. Also, yeah, that was yeah. a brother of, of his old cap, yeah. uh, coach. Mm-hmm. That that and that's who co-signed on him. Coach, 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 coach. He was like, hey, he's solid. Yeah. Um, but. There is a uh, I don't we'll talk about it, but <laughs> yeah, I don't want to I don't want I don't want to spit on that. But so that's your theory, huh? yeah. Because so, but I mean, like, how much more revenue is my question? Okay. He ended up being the top jersey sale. I don't know what the exact million was, but once they got together, Swifties were buying Travis Kelsey jerseys like crazy. Like it, it just jumped. Mm-hmm. Shout out to uh, we had him, and Kansas City gear. We had him. Uh, we had him on the podcast before. Wally uh, Hippolito. Mm. Uh, shout out to you, sir. Shout out, Wally. He uh, had a TikTok where he was talking about like uh, what is it? The athlete of the year, and I think uh, athlete of the year, athlete athlete of the year, and I think it was like uh, voted by the people, and people voted for Travis Kelsey. Mind you, this is af- this is like beyond. I forgot the uh, tennis player's name, uh, but she's like did remarkable work. Uh, over like, but you don't even know her name. Yeah, because I don't like tennis. Not, not name. No, no, she's a no, no. It's, it's a, a younger one. Yeah, oh, younger one who like uh, took took out like the top seed and stuff. Naomi made her talk, be like, "Hey, just get it out now." It's better. To, she said it's better to get it out here than crying in the in the shower. Oh yeah, like, she, she yeah. gamed her up. Like, hey, yeah. like you're in your feelings right now. Like, go ahead and yeah, yeah. Because she had like she suffered from some like fuck. Uh, what was her name? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I do. I and, do. Yeah, and then you know, because the Swifties, they're like, but it's a People's Choice Award, like, it's a surfboard or whatever the fuck it is. Nobody it's, cares. it's the NFL. That's the, uh, that's the U.S. sport, right? Like football is yeah. like that. That's that's so U.S. Yeah, like it, it, it it's traveling to build like an uh, a worldwide 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 reach, but that was a cash grab. Which like, one? To, f- for her, uh, for the Kelsey jersey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it was. But I, I to to answer everything, I I think it was more for like in favor of the Chiefs, but not Travis, um, not Taylor Swift. It was for Patrick Mahomes. I mean, it was clear the referees weren't. I have a question for you. You're yeah. good with football, right? They weren't calling everything. Well, how come? How come? Basically, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Kittle didn't really show up. Was that because was, of play calling, or was it? Yeah, it was play calling. Damn, they asked him to block. That's, that's kind of fucked up. Right? It's it's not it's it's not his fault. He, he, didn't he do is the wrong. he is the third best person to catch the fourth some to he, catch the ball on the team now. Right, right. Like in some sports, people Zanny's, don't shout understand out to Zanny's sometimes. Glasses. And and I I could uh, someone I, stole my pager. I could confess, like even I won't understand, like in hoops or in football, <laughs> how come he doesn't get the ball, or like how come this guy doesn't shoot the basketball? And yeah. sometimes we don't know. It's it's like he's a referee too. You know, like. Mm. It could be part of the game. That's why, yeah, that's why I asked. Because, but uh, my question was, it's like, wh- why would you? do I guess they have so many weapons, they could do that, right? They They're, could, yeah, yeah. And sometimes, uh, you know, Shannon has that thing where it's just a brain fart. Yeah, I mean, that's 
for Shanahan, but that's like he was but, our only guy for a long time we could throw the ball to before we got Debo. Yeah, Alex. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. That, that was not Yeah, that yeah. was the only guy for a long time. So shout out to that conspiracy theory. Yeah. My, my, my. No, I say, I say we say we save Jan for last because he's like he's he, cooking. He's so hard right now. Jan's got hella. Yeah. I, my DMs are um, <laughs> conspiracy theories <laughs> <laughs> or ours. <laughs> Do you want to? Uh, yeah, I can do conspiracy theory. Go ahead. Uh, for anyone who's watched the podcast, you know that I love music, and I have lightly talked about this before. Oh, it's Stevie and I Wonder! Will fucking bring this up again. Oh, Stevie! This see? conspiracy theory that Stevie Wonder is not blind. Here is some evidence. Okay, first off, Stevie Wonder is reported to be blind since birth. Right? Uh, you know. And everybody knows that he wears glasses. He wears gla- sunglasses. It's what he's synonymous for. His own friends have come out and say to say that maybe he's not. Here's here's some evidence, right? Shaq. They live in the same area or building. And uh, when he was getting off of the when he was on the elevator, elevator doors opened up. Stevie Wonder's there. He comes in. He says, "What's up, Shaq?" And he. Press the button to the elevator mm, yeah, by, by himself. himself. That's yeah, evidence yeah. number one, right? Yeah. There are videos of Stevie Wonder. <laughs> There's one where uh, he's on stage somewhere and somebody's walking by and they knock over a mic stand and he catches it perfectly. Yeah. There are numerous pictures of him taking pictures with a camera of other stars. He does FaceTime a lot. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Anthony, uh, he's from uh, Blackish. Is that Anthony? Anthony Anderson. Anthony Anderson, mm. right? He has a story where he's on stage at a, an award show, and uh, Stevie Wonder comes out of nowhere, walks straight up to Anthony Anderson, and says, "Hey, what's up, Anthony? Can you lead me to, the, to a piano?" And Anthony Anderson, Anderson says, "You just found me on stage. How, how, why don't you just go walk there?" And he said that like Stevie Wonder kind of panicked because like he kind of like must have like uh, got found out or anything, mm-hmm. whatever. Um, but here's the most <laughs> damning evidence. Hold ever. on, do you know what happened after that? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, okay. here's the most damning evidence ever. With this <laughs> conspiracy theory catching fire, TMZ confronted Stevie Wonder and asked him, "Are you really blind?" And you know what he said, mm-hmm. or can you see? They said, oh, no, they said, uh, is this conspiracy theory real? He said, it could be. From he, the, the man himself, <laughs> Shaka Khan, also said the same thing. <laughs> he could be slightly <laughs> blind, but not 100%. Yeah, so that's that's what I think. It's like that could be possible. He's, he's legally, legally blind. Legally blind. Legally blind. Like, he's probably, he's, he could be colorblind. He, he probably... Oh, spin. Yeah. I, I thought he would just have a, like incredible... St- sense of smell so you're saying that he can smell anthony anderson from across like, the like stage. if anthony anderson had like cool water on it's like mm. stevie wonder uh <laughs> robocop would it drip the the brains go all like that yeah, 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 yeah. He's the, no, he's that's Ed, robocop no, no, he's at two two oh oh nine yeah for sure eight six seven five three oh nine yes yes oh shit the thing is that people have like taken this conspiracy theory and ran with it and say said like oh he's lying to all of us no shut the fuck up it's not that he's lying i'm pretty sure it's something else uh, you know, don't try to like uh, damage his character because he could see that. Uh, waka waka do you follow Steve, Steve Wonder's Instagram? No, I, I think nope. I do. Does he have it? Have Instagram? you seen it? Uh, I'm, I don't. He has it either. Hey, Malibu, yo, my So wait, do you believe it? Do I believe it? I believe that he's probably legally blind and he can see something. Okay, but he probably didn't see that coming. Gus, Ooh, you see me? Uh, um, mine is a little different, and it's something that I took notice of probably in the last couple of weeks. Um, so let's do this. There's a famous mogul, and I'm not gonna say anyone's name. That's really in some shit, right? <laughs> I know. Yeah, there's a famous mogul really in some shit. Um, for diddling yeah so there was a long beef between this mogul and wendy williams shout out to wendy williams i thought she was fine she got fired from hot 97 
right? Because uh, this mogul got her fired. And then there's a 20 year beef until where, until where uh, they, they they made immense on on her talk show. Yeah. Um, everyone that crossed that mogul, if you really had something damaging against them, something happened. Mm, that's yeah. We'll that, spend that, 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 that's uh, that's all. That's talking like uptown history, yes. right? We're talking heavy about D. heavy D. We're yes. talking about Andre Harrell. Andre, yes. Mm. We're talking about uh, Kim Porter. Yes. We're talking. We're talking. Uh, there are a lot of people. History. There's history of of things happening to where uh, people associated with this person will will uh, will perish. Like uh, like we almost lost Albie Shore. That's oh, right. Shit. So and let's not forget Biggie. Mm. Okay, and uh, Wendy Williams exposed the video of this mogul's son with Suge Knight, and the son was Ooh. like two years old. So that person now is probably thirty. Yeah. So twenty eight years ago, Pac was still alive, true. right? True. Twenty true. years ago, I think I think Pac was still alive. Mm-hmm. So this mogul. Uh, had had a had an issue with Wendy Williams, and anyone who ever has an issue with this mogul, things tend to happen to them. I, I want to uh, add some uh, information just because I I read up on it. What happened was uh, when that happened on the air. Which one? The uh, the w- oh, what, what piece of it? Hot ninety seven. Oh, okay. There was a call that was made and said, if she's not gone by the time I get there. You're gonna lose all the support from me and my friends. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After. Yeah. Take that. Take that. Take, take that. that. Take that. Take that. Take that. And uh, uh, for a, a long, like I appreciate a lot of the music that came out of that that house. Yes. That that person was a part of. Um. Uh. But Mace talks about it. Yes. Mm. May and mm. I, openly. I fuck with murder. I fuck with Murder May so tough. It, it is him, what it him, is. Him and Cam, re, uh, re, uh, like reuniting within our lifetime and for us to see it live, that shit's dope. Reconciling. Yeah. 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 Um, like Mace got played. He wrote a lot of hits that he didn't spit. Mace wrote a lot of hits, right? Yes. So he left and he came and he had to do his thing and come back so if you really look at everyone that's affiliated with like like total never really got that total actually showed up mm, to, 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 to to push up on uh on wendy williams yes yeah I, yeah, yeah i heard about that yeah. yeah and then uh, like, yeah go ahead. puffs and another Done. plot twist to that Mogul. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> the, the eldest son the eldest son is rumored to be uh not his son and it's rumored to be the uh his security guard for his ladies his his bm at the time mm. her security guard or his security guard but uh he was he was there yeah his name was wolf but <sighs> so Ow. yeah and wolf was cool with shug and there it is and shug's behind bars there's a lot there's there's a lot to un- so real I- Yes, thank. You. There's a lot to Holy unpack. Here. Yeah, because it. We could do a whole a, a whole on entire yeah. Because you didn't even talk about what's going on with Wendy Williams now. No, and no, and and that's why. That's why I uh, I thought I thought of that because of where she is mentally in, in where she is mentally. Yeah. Right. And aphasia, I think, is what they call it, right, or something like that. You know, like you, someone could slip something in your drink. Mm. Someone someone could could catch you in the bathroom and just hit you with needle like pop. You know what I mean? At and. People talk about the parties. Usher went into these parties young, oh, and he yeah. asked, "He goes, would you let your kids go to these parties?" He goes, "Absolutely not." And he mm-hmm. he had like legal guardianship over Usher, didn't he, or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Even Bieber. And that mm-hmm. interaction between them was creepy. Did you see that? Did you, no. did you watch it? After, no, after, I did. I did. Have, there was like I two different. There's like after, two different uh, ones. Yeah. After after knowing after knowing how that uh, everything that's been like the context. unfolding, yes. just seeing that fear, like, dude, I remember, <laughs> I I remember doing a promo for this dude. It was that voter die shit. Yeah, I had a I had a voter die shirt. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and and uh, 
uh, during this time, like Scion was was taking people to the poll, so we was doing like a cross promo between that voter die. You mean driving them? Yeah, yeah. So I, I I was well, I just drove around the city and let people know that Scion will take you to the vote mm. to go vote and shit. But um, it's it's weird how this uh this mode will work. And then can you expand on it? Um, he would he 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 would uh. I think he embarrasses people to where that he he's able to hover above them and mm, like a humiliation ritual and a wholesome cachet against him because that's not cool because 50 said, oh. said said he got a picture of his ex of this mogul's ex chick yeah and it was in a compromising position yeah so and he was like oh you got that and he was like who sent it to you like, okay and it was didn't even like wasn't hot the fact that he uh, he allowed this picture to circulate, he liked the you know, or of, he could or he he orchestrated this picture to circulate to kind of keep her on, on keep her at bay. Yeah, there was a, I think the picture another picture that Wendy Williams had was of uh, Diddy and a friend, but like with the pants down or something like that. Was that there's a yeah there's yeah. that one too. Oh, I mean the mogul, the mogul. Oh. Shout out to P Diddle. Yep. Oh, shit. He has bigger fish to fry at the moment. I think I yeah. So I kind of I, I believe in that. I uh, I I okay. I won't. I'll get. Do you want to say anything? I I have. Um. What's that verse from verse number two thousand and eighty? Record company people are shady. This has been this has been shown. Even uh, movie people. Shout out to Harvey Weinstein. I, no shout no. out to you. Fuck I you. I love yeah. the industry, but. You have to know you. You have to have restraint within yourself to know how to operate yeah. and move in those circles. Because, Can't. yeah, don't. you got you got to be mindful about who you operate with and how you operate. And I don't know if we want to touch on the bigger picture because this is just one man's kind of like current issues that are being brought to light. But what that man represents in the industry which has been talked about uh kind of like a little bit you know people it's there's like rumors and and, and, and whispers do you believe in that what what are you referring to <clears throat> like the elite oh yeah, yeah. that there has, well, there I believe has in that. to be like i don't know if it's the illuminati per se but there has to be you know i they, they say that basically they try to do the exact same thing with like Kanye West and Dave Chappelle. You yeah. know, remember that Dave Chappelle in his old show where he had to like, they said he was crazy. Mm-hmm. Cat Williams. Jim Carrey. Williams. Jim Carrey. That's what Oh, I'm, Jim Carrey's Jim Carrey. a good He one. called him out too and they people trying to make, like they're trying to make him look crazy. So that's, that's something I wanted to touch on because Cat Williams came on the uh, Club Shay Shay, right? Mm-hmm. And he was fucking just grung everybody in every comedian, mainly at like Steve Harvey. The Kings? Yeah, the Kings, right? Said, the, but said, he, he fucked with DL. Yeah. What well, said he was just like, oh, you're not like original. Like, I, he said that joke, whatever. But with Steve, he hinted on some other shit, some next level shit, right? And what he said, I listened to the, the interview, and what he said is that 2024 things are going to come to light. And it's funny because he, he says that he's a man of God and things are going to come to light this year the truth will come out and it's kind of funny how things are unraveling a little are, kind of yeah, slowly unraveling. I I I know like with the whole did you see him on Rogan I do I gotta watch that cat he did you do that afterwards uh it, will, it probably came out a couple of days ago I I, I watched it to, was it good I finished the day it's not the catcher it's, it's not the cat anyone's expecting it's an introspective cat he's he's not sitting there and and he's he's not playing club Shay Shay. yeah he's playing he's playing the room he kn- he knows how to oh he knows how to maneuver th- it's a each good pod. it's a good conversation yeah and it's not like me he, he's not playing money mike yeah you know what I mean? he's not which is him right yeah. that's him money exactly. mike is him <laughs> but he's um i feel like it's a chess match you know when uh, conversations are a chess match yeah I feel like it was a chess match and it was it was just you know like not seeing who ran the conversation but cat cat won't, won't bow down to rogan as far as like i don't know it's like this yeah he demands he demands the uh to lead or demands the attention he expresses his point of view 
Yeah. 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 It's a, it's a, it's three hours long. It's a solid pod. Yeah. If you can just sit there and work and pot it out, it's, it's solid. But yeah, that's a, there's, a, there's that kind out. of like a bigger, yeah, there's a bigger thing to this. And I, I, I'm pretty sure it's just because of the internet that it's kind of like spreading. Like Come wildfire. on, man. We pay for water. Water's, well, water, well, man can't Ooh. make water. We pay for water. That's all. I'm tearing. Uh, I forgot that. I heard some. I have a lot of it too. You see, I pay a yeah. lot for water. I pay a lot for water. <laughs> but <laughs> smartly. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I forgot her name, but she's from like uh, Orange is the New Black. She went on a podcast and was talking about the gold juice. Do you know what the. That's that's the one that was the religious Ooh. one on Orange is the New yes. Black. Yes. She was a small, the like. Methy looking one. Yeah, the methy turned preacher ish. And like, she, she shunned all everyone that was like anything homosexual. Well, she, she was that one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The gold juice. And that's what I'm saying, dude. What's the gold 2024. juice? 2024. I don't know every exact detail, but the gold juice is something that she said she was offered, and I'm paraphrasing, that she was offered at a party because, mm. you know, like drugs and everything. And she's she the, the way she described this guy was like he was like in a black trench coat and i was like oh uh, was it blade <laughs> no but it's like <laughs> offer her like this gold juice that would kind of like push her to success and uh, that's uh, all that, yeah that's all that I know like some that. people say it's blood from like a, a certain baby. person yeah, yeah. or, or <laughs> breast milk breast cambodian milk. dave Chappelle was on to something Mm-hmm. That's and, a fucking good one. Yeah, and then uh, I believe yeah. in that one. Yeah, yeah. I believe in that one. There are things. Things are things. Do you believe uh, Jay Z is part of that though? Because Wendy Williams also did call out like Jay Z, didn't she? And, and Beyonce. You think so? Both right. Of it's that's a power couple. I, do you think they need that? I think yeah. Jada Kiss and Will did. Ooh. Yeah, so that's so, so. So I think Jay and uh, and Beyonce are a power couple that are built on talent. I think that Jada and Will are built on like some weird shit. <laughs> they they probably get the same fade from the same homie, but I, you know I don't know. I think mm. there's a lot that's coming out this year. Yeah, right? it's no, kind of wild. It's dude. uh yeah. And it's funny because you were surrounded by that. J- not surrounded. Oh, but you, you had yeah, that taste. I, I, I was at the, I was at the garage level of it. If, if, <laughs> if, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. I was the, dropping uh, off a car. If anything. <laughs> a sign on. Yeah, it was a degree of separation, though. I wasn't in the party. I was, yeah, I was a valet. But yeah, no. Um, uh, it's good. It's a, uh, it's a crazy world out there. Just be careful who you surround yourself with. So I have a question for everyone here. Uh, before Jan is about to fucking cook, look at him. He's, he's, about, ready. To, he's about to. He's, burn. Got, he's him, biting dude. his lips. You look like B Rabbit, dog. He's from biting his mile, lips, bro. Um, okay, my question for you is: uh, Are we still listening to Puff Daddy? I listen to R. Kelly. Damn, <laughs> I changed it. Today. Damn, he says shit. It's, I like, it, it's which, not as often like, what, as I used to though. What was the last R. Kelly song that you played? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't really laugh at Down low. Secret lover, JD. This is my is guy, who JD. We are. I miss listening to Aura. <laughs> we'll make love to him. Come on, man. Everybody, want, everybody wants to step in the name of love. I want to see it, dude. Okay. Calling on me. <laughs> Do, real quick, before we go back to what you're talking about, could you listen to Aura Kelly? Oh, you can't listen to R. Kelly, but could you listen to Aaliyah, even though R. Kelly wrote some of that? It's hard. I, I, you know what? I, I now can't listen to Aaliyah without. Hearing the meaning of the words. Why? Like, because Asia ain't nothing but a number. I know some of those words, like, they hit harder now. And some of his lyrics, too, of course. Yeah. It's like, damn it. What do you mean, like, how it sounds so good? Like, an entire album he compared, like, a woman to a Jeep. Yeah. (laughs) And Jeeps are on the up. And no one, no one, for, something. no one forgets though. Fiesta was one of the greatest albums. They try to bury that because they don't want to associate Jay with R. Kelly. That's a great track. Mm. Yes, mm-hmm. that's a great track. Like if that comes on on any party, I'm like, ooh, mm-hmm. you playing this? You playing Fiesta? Bold, <laughs> like oh <laughs> man, right but there. I'm feeling it. You I, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You, you can't deny it. You yeah. can't deny it. Jam. Let's do it. This is the fucking closer right here, dog. For conspiracies, we're conspiracies. still in the top. Yeah. C O N spiracy. Fire away, bro. What, what movie is that from? Shoot it at the hip, baby. Conspiracy. C O N spiracy. Oh, RB knows. Thank you. Love yeah, I don't. Me. I don't know if I could um, like go go all the way in this one. Can I start off light lightly? Because I don't want to set off the YouTube like um, uh, red flag. Thingy. Is that what we want? 
<laughs> yes, we want. Is that what we and want? When do we want it? Now. <laughs> now. Shoot it from the hip. So I think um, one, the pocket one, so thing I, one thing I've been like uh, kind of tripping off of just like really recently is the um, <clears throat> the uh, I Love Lucy. You guys watch I Love Lucy, right? Oh, dude. I, yeah, before. Desi you. Arnaz. Desi Arnaz, yeah. 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 And um, the fact that... Um, um, <laughs> That thing that he says no longer exists. Uh, oh, are you talking about like the uh, Mandela effect? Yeah, the Mandela effect of uh, uh, he 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 says uh, you got some explaining to do. Oh, you got some explaining to do. And that and that um, that never happened. Like so, if if you look and search up that that whole, that whole thing, he never actually said that. But it's all it's in our memory. It's all in it's our a, memories. Uh, yeah. So, so yeah, that's that's one. Have you heard that's of the Mandela effect? That's something light right there. <laughs> I, that's I, not something light. That's on. like the things that we say to like with something like a song or a movie or a show. Like Luke, I am your father. It never hap- It never was said. Luke, I am your father was never said. It was. It was. I trust. I, I trust you. Look at yes, this. It was. it was said in Tommy Boy. <laughs> Luke, I am your father. It was. It was. And it was it, wasn't it? Yeah. So was, and then it was, it was changed. It was changed. Mandela effect, right? It's. Well, no, go ahead. No, go ahead. I, I think what they said with the Mandela effect is it has to do with like a space time continuum, right? And somebody going and like. Okay, Ant Man, explain the. <laughs> well, here you go. The no, continuum. All right, Doc. Let's yeah, hear exactly. yeah. it. Let's that, hear it. I can't, but they, they said somebody's basically changing it. It is weird when you've sent those uh, Mandela effects. Like, damn, that never was said? And you, there's how many of them? Bears, St. Bears. Oh yeah, that one's just fucking bad grammar because no no one no one says <laughs> yeah like you're not gonna, yeah no one's gonna they, they're gonna see what they see at a certain point right right, right. and the teachers because it's just too hard to say and you fucking for <laughs> four year olds right <laughs> yeah you know what okay and then this is one I noticed and I don't know if you guys notice it but when you go in the bathroom either the the paper towel or the toilet paper the brand is stork. It's now called Torque, but the same lettering. So I think what happened was it's kind of like they folded as a company, but they called Torque and then they still got the same license. Like, like, so it was that, I don't know if y'all caught that. No, like, I didn't catch that, but I know what you're talking. I know I hear the, yeah, the, well, no, the yeah. concept of it. That makes sense. Yeah. Don't worry about me. No, no, that makes sense. <laughs> no, that makes sense. No, no, so yeah. keep going, keep going. Yeah. yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, Jen, what do you think is the reasoning for all the Mandela effects? Are they all different cases, or is it all a similar case? Why that happened? How many how, for how many I Love Lucy episodes did you watch to to confirm that, yeah. or, or do you just Google that if it was said or not? I I used to watch it as a kid, like it was just on, you know, like you af- don't. But do, do you remember hearing that though, right? I do remember. I do yeah, too. I remember like she would say it too. She would mock him. Yeah, yeah. like they would say it at the same time. And like, they close you it have out. Yeah. Planning to do like. Yeah, they they have like a, a bunch of references that other movies have um, kind of used that, but those exist. But then when you go back to um, I Love Lucy, like never was said, and you search um, like all the episodes, he never said that. But uh, yeah, it, 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 did you guys want my explanation for it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or unless you have another example for the Mandela effect, um, I, I can't think of another one right now. But um, I think. I think what's happening is there, or not, not me. Uh, one theory is um, there's like a there's like a, a collapse or like a, a joining of timelines. Like they they said that um, if when when time timelines join together, like that other timeline um, has stuff that happened differently. So when it joins with ours, like some sometimes it it like deletes stuff or like. Um, like multiverse shit? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the almanac. The sport, sort of, yeah. The sports almanac. The sports almanac. Mm. I, got, I got really quiet. No, because I had to think, like, shit. How many times do you think that's happened? Like, time, timeline is that crossovers. Like, is that like deja vu? You know when someone says, oh, it's like deja vu. Like, right, there's, right. How there's, many times there's situations happen? like, you know, and, okay, call me crazy for feeling this, but, like, I've been here or... I'm in a familiar place and not just like here in my house. I'm like, this whole situation's familiar. Yeah. I I've had I've had many uh I had many episodes of that that I used to scare myself. So I would I, I would pray for certain things not to happen to me because I didn't 
at the time it was happening, I wasn't ready for the experience. Mm. Oh, because it was happening too often. Yeah. Oh. Like, I was able to digest things at a young age, and I st- I asked, I was like, I don't want to, can I not? That's interesting. Yeah. That's that's me, though. Like, like so there's Processing times. Processing that, yeah. Yeah, so there's times I'll be somewhere, and I'll, I'll look around, and it's, like, very familiar. Like, I felt like I, I just did this, or I remember doing this. That could be, like, where the... The, like you guys saying like the universe is kind of like it's, meat it's yeah meeting, uh, that that's where things are happening either this way or this way and then it's just di- different theories of it because i don't know i can't sleep <laughs> i don't know about y'all like i need a cpap to go to sleep because just text me i can't sleep either nah i can't oh, sleep I but i need a cpap <laughs> yeah yeah, it's, like, yeah i'm giving ghosts a lot of blowjobs like what joker <laughs> says hey yo Sorry. that's Off that's a, that, that's another conspiracy <laughs> wake waking up and your throat total dry is crazy to me <laughs> 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 then going to your hydro flask and finishing it like and like oh, oh. swishing you spit that oh, shit you out you guys dude. got me huh you guys oh you guys got me <laughs> i saw i saw an explanation about this whole like uh time right <laughs> it's just got hand cramps too <laughs> <laughs> know, exactly <yeah. laughs> Please, why do i have make a, it the asian ghost why do i have finger marks <laughs> <laughs> One of the finger marks on my neck. Um, there was an explanation Yo. about time, right? If you look at time in terms of uh, pieces of paper, right? And you are on one of those pieces of paper, right? You don't exist on any of those other pieces of paper. But your consciousness is like a marker. And if you call that marker on that piece of paper, it will bleed through other pieces of paper. <laughs> You lost me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In terms of like I just heard paper. It sounded then, good. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. It, it, was, like a, yeah. it was like a Mike it, situation it, it, from Jersey Shore. It, 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 it looked good. It looked better in paper. It was like his, mo- <laughs> it's like his models. It looked like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, better in no, paper. But, no, but they basically <sighs> said like that could ex- like explain the Mandela effect, right? Where it's like if it's a little if bit, a little bit, a little bit of bleeding through other timelines, then what you're doing, you're seeing other things. The only thing about that is that it's done on a mass level, right? Everybody, there's like a huge group of following now says that. Like it wasn't like that before. You know what I mean? Do aliens exist to you? Yeah, for sure. Justin, do aliens exist are, to are you? Are we talking about aliens or um, like, aliens? Like not illegal aliens. aliens. No, because I mean like um, un- un- unidentified objects. Yeah, well, aliens. I think I believe in aliens. Jen. I, I think it's a yes. Do you believe in aliens? Oh, shit, he's about to cook. Yes, I know a lot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jan, he you? says all the good ones. Yeah. Um, I believe in it. There's a... I was with my dad in our backyard in San Francisco, right? And then... Oh, what year was this? This was like during COVID. Oh, so so no dude. one so so no one was in the streets, right? Everyone yeah. was kind of at home. I remember being with my dad in the backyard. And he's like, look, 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 it's a UFO. And I was like, yeah, dad. He's like, no, look. And he was looking and he watches all that shit. And then I was like, you're tripping. And then I, I watched one and I was like, maybe he's not. Maybe he's not. Because it's the movement of it, right? So maybe he's not. Prior to that, you were a non-believer? Oh, I've always believed. Or just like you kind of little, there's a little part like that, that could be true and it can. My it dad exposing, like being a little kid about it. Oh. Like, the, the innocence of my dad saying, look, those are, that's a UFO. Like the innocence the, and the truth in that because he believed it. It didn't, it wasn't about me. It was, right. a, it was about my dad was like, that's a UFO right there. Like. Like See I, something new at that age, yeah, yeah dude. Like I, uh, when he stayed at my house, I remember uh, going to the bathroom and this dude got like big book, big uh, Bigfoot sightings, oh, like just shit, playing. Yeah. And I'm like, that is hella loud, and they're growling. Could you lower? <laughs> could you lower the <laughs> sound bar? <laughs> I got a homie that believes in Bigfoot. I, all that, all that the exists to me. Truck? All that. Mm, R.I.P. I have seen the monster. Right Cal Palace. They, what do you mean R.I.P.? This is it's not like the grave diggers like the one. Oh, and yeah, the one with diggers. the claw that came out of the tire. Yeah. Or? The animal. Okay, there was like a bones on the grave digger was, was the one. Grave digger was the one. But Bigfoot was like the The good guy. He's the heel. Yeah. Oh no, the, the the face. He was like the first one out. He was like the Hulk Hogan of like the wrestling. Yeah. yeah it, was, it was Bigfoot. Blue. I, so Jen, you're thinking you're yeah. in it right now. What else, Jam? Yeah, tell us more about aliens. You didn't hear what we were talking about. You were too much into your your theory. <laughs> no, I was thinking about that the truck Bigfoot and like how 
Do you remember the claw used to come out the tire? Yeah. yeah. Was yeah. it big? That was the animal. How come it never worked in real life? Did it ever work? Did you ever see someone that had Cause it? Because it was probably uphill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not going to lie. I don't understand like the rules of that. Do they just... Is there a way to know. win? Like, yeah, yeah. Do they, is it like the Harlem Globetrotters? I, like they just call it like it's I a story? Know. How many really cars can you crush? Yeah, exactly. Oh, do you know, Jen? <laughs> no, oh. no. I just, I just have flashbacks of like those Bigfoot commercials. Like um, when, when we were kids. And how there was like a there was a Bigfoot toy that was really dope. Yeah, dude. Or was uh, it Figfoot? <laughs> big feet because it, it was it was multiple. Big I always wanted because uh, I spawned. I always wanted a Bigfoot, but then when you get the Toys R Us, you're just like, uh no, I don't want that. <laughs> dude, I'll take this Transformer. A Bigfoot in <laughs> yeah, like I don't want just be like playing with it. <laughs> They're like this one could turn into a fucking robot. Like, yeah, dude. A Bigfoot pretty much in the Philippines is what Capre is. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Jen? You know what Capre is, right? Uh, folk, t- uh, folk characters, right? He, he, chills in the, he chills in the tree and he Whoa. smokes cigars. Do you guys believe in Duende? all those? Like Duendes and all that? And uh, every... Aswang? I, I have... Uh, okay, I have... I, I, I have my theory for... You said Duendes, right? Mm. Respectfully. 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 I, I, I have, Respectfully. I have my, my theory to that. And that is... Every culture has their version of it. They do. True. There's leprechauns, menahunis. Mm. There's uh, there's trolls. There's um, there's every like Philippines called you know what I mean like dwarfs. Le- everything. Every there's a everything right. And do you even know why we why we do you even know why we put uh, ornaments or do you know why we put ornaments around a Christmas tree for Christmas? Oh, it's like a pagan ritual, right? Do you know? I, does was, any, I don't know the real Does reason, anyone know why though? No. It's it's like winter sol- solstice, so that's when you're feeding the you're feeding the forest, right? Oh. In the in the in the Philippines, like if 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 my uncle was to step on something and he was in an area, you got yeah. you got to go give you got to go give like you, you got to give like an offering, like sorry, like he was he like he was playing here. Or don't, like, yeah. don't you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just to be like, sorry, it happened because, like, he might have like a swollen foot back there, and then they said, "Where were you playing?" Like, yeah, you better go give an offering, right? Or like, you, so, yeah. That's why all, the, like, just just backpack, backpacking all that. That's why all, like, you remember, like, early ornaments uh, for Christmas trees have always been food related. Popcorn. Oh yeah, popcorn. Like candy canes. Why? Why are you putting like mm. food? Because we're we're giving offering. That that's offering to the. Uh, to did the, you do to you, the tree? How did you find that out, Mr. Swan? Oh. Shout out to Mr. Swan. We, we had this, we had this cool teacher who who would lo- who would either we sit there and ask him a million questions because yeah. uh, it, it was our it was a religion class or we could watch The Simpsons and each episode he'd have us break down. He was a cool teacher. I thought it was cool. He was hella cool. And well, that was I probably like Mr. early Swan. Simpsons. Where it was kind of like not as like a uh, visually appealing. Yeah, because those had more life lessons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, yeah. There actually yeah. was, and he made it a real lesson. Yeah, it was like Garfield. To Mr. Not like Garfield, Swan, like dude. Heathcliff. Heathcliff yeah. at the end. Yeah, yeah. GI Joe. And no, he was cool. And then, so someone asked, "Why do we? Why do we? Uh, why do we decorate Christmas trees for Christmas?" And he was like, "Cause and he knew right away you're giving an offering." Dude, yeah, Mr. Dude. Swan, dude, that's kind and of you know what um, you were talking he about. Tommy Hula, <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Hula, like, uh, like, like, especially oh, yeah. peeing like in someone's lawn in the Philippines, right? Like, Dobby, or Dobby Paul. yeah, I still say that. And um, I, like you were saying, your dad was hella like he's convinced when he saw it. Like he's when seen, my relatives yeah. tell stories of duendes or like dwarf friends, they're like convincing. Yeah, my my like, dad he like believes no, it. He really was there. I had a friend when I was three, and it's just like, dude, okay, you did. Like I, I believe it. You gotta respect. You, I that, believe that's it. why you have to like honestly for me, you have to respect. You always have to respect in how you move. So I uh, I. I follow this like account um, on IG, and it, it's it's called Reddit Lore. And what they do is they basically, you know, Reddit's like a a vast place on the internet where they ask questions and people kind of chime in, right? Mm. And somebody asked like, "What is the craziest thing you've ever seen in terms of like uh, the United States and uh, what they've done?" Something like that. I'll show you guys after this. Somebody chimed in and said, and I posted this on my story that i forgot what year it was but you know how u.s has close ties to the philippines yeah uh they were trying to run an experiment because they know they knew that the philippines believes in a lot of uh, folklore especially the um 
Was that Mananang? What is it again? The half vampires? Manangal. Oh, Manangal, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what they did was they actually like kidnapped somebody from the village, killed him, and made it look like it was a vampire. I'll show you what it is. It's it's kind of it's kind of wild. I'm I'm probably like stating this wrong, and it doesn't. It, it's just kind of crazy just how the U.S. How is. they use the folklore of the Philippines against us. Yes, as like a, a psychological warfare. Yes, yeah. and they they did like there's another thing that they mentioned about San Francisco how they did something to the uh, the water in the bay and how they were experimenting on us. The U.S. Bro, that's a it, it's fuck. like how China said the U.S. brought. COVID to China to blame it on China. Batman. <laughs> All right, so just something grateful. Let's uh, real quick. Are you done? Yes. Oh yeah. Jan has some great ones though. Jan, you know, I he's know. got some in the weird. Right? He's just being shy. Yeah, he has something in the cook, dude. We're at a. Uh, because that was just to start it off. You 51 said fifty-one minutes. Yeah, that was just like a little. Do you, have a, one do you have a quick one? You have an advanced one, like Super Professor X, like. He's about to call it like a like a when a rapper shows up like on a wake up show and they have to spit a verse. <laughs> it's like yeah, I got something in my pocket. Um, because I know you have a lot. I'm curious. This one's kind of like a like a medium one. Um, <laughs> do, do you guys watch a lot of? Uh, I, I've never watched um, Stranger Things, but it's I think it's, it's Stranger Things is, is like based off of this conspiracy called um, Montauk Project. Have oh. You guys ever heard of that? No. no. What's Montauk Project? <laughs> All right, so real quick, um, they get the news that um, a, an alien ship has crashed, right? And then they go retrieve it. So, like, um, the parts of the of the ship like still work. There was a chair that uh, still powered up, and they somehow like were able to like um, like reverse engineer and put power to it. So when you sit down like on this chair. They they realize that uh, it doesn't only control the ship, and it doesn't it doesn't only like have um, like um, you know like levers and buttons and stuff. Right. It also like uh, attaches to your brain and to your mind. And one of them figured out how like if you thought if you give it a thought or something, that thought would manifest into like this little like ball in front of in front of you. And they realize that um, you can go anywhere. In the future, or anywhere back in time. So I don't know. I've never seen Stranger Things, but Ooh, that, I don't think that's Stranger Things. Yeah, I, was, I, I thought you were talking about the uh, underworld, the plot of Independence Day. Oh. Wow! First. So you, you could like reverse time. Well, you could you could uh, like go Put back yourself into another place. Yeah, you know? like you you could go like back into like the prehistoric ages. What? And, and someone and, made and, like, a video, but people are like, is. "That's CGI." You know, the government has an actual no. department that picks up ships, and whenever they pick up ships like this, they call it a donation. Like, hey, we That's gotta right. go, we gotta go pick up this don. Uh, they call it a donation. Like, whenever the like foreign ships fall and they're, they're collecting oh. it, they're collecting a donation. You mean like from the sky? Yeah, not like ships. And does that go to like Area Fifty One? Wait, it, it goes where it goes where it goes. It yeah, goes it where did, it goes. It does, it does, it does, it does. I would love to. Fifty One, like they said, that was a uh, it was really like undercover, and then people blew it up. Now it's hella bigger now. Yeah, remember it's, they tried to run it, it with like uh, Naruto, like like Naruto. There's that one dude. Uh, he was on. He was on Joe Rogan. What's that dude's name? That he actually, what's his name? Bravo. Oh, yeah, Eddie, Bravo. Eddie Bravo. No, no, no. He's a, he was the actual person that worked on one of the ships. No what? He, he he's the one that he's the one that made a ro- his uh he made a civic like a rocket Bob, ship. Bob Lazar. Yeah, Bob Lazar. That's crazy how you Bob fucking do that. Shit. Lazar is dope. No, it's dope because like you look at him, he doesn't look crazy. And his story, like what I, what Joe Rogan points out, is like it doesn't change. It's the same story. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? He talks about how he was hired by NASA and it was a ship and they were trying to figure out how to how to maneuver it, like how to figure out how to work it. Oh shit! And then he was part of that team, and then oh, it's so, the same story as he said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have a question, Justin? No, I, I think that guy was on that <laughs> podcast you were sending me, the ex Marine SEAL Team Six guy that talks to CIA people. Is that Jocko? Um, what's oh his name? yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm uh, sorry. Do you guys have a separate conspiracy theory? Uh, Sean Sean Ryan show. Sean right? Ryan show. Yeah. Are you part there of this? Go. I think he was on there. No, yeah, I didn't get the fucking <laughs> message, y'all. I guess y'all are wearing the same sweater, but this is ridiculous, dog. <laughs> we're on a different atmosphere right now. <laughs> is this a conspiracy? 
Actually, you know what's crazy, right? Is I was already driving home from work and I had all this stuff going on. Anyways, randomly, I'm like, this should be the day me and Jan will wear the same sweater. That's the Costco sweater. Fucking this guy texts me like, I don't know, five something. He's like, activate the Costco sweater. And I was like, holy shit, bro. This is crazy. I was going to text you. The crazy thing is that <coughs> did you just talk about going in back and forward in time, Jan? Maybe you got a chair like that, bro. That doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I think um, there was like a, there was a lot of um, advantage that the the U.S. got uh, from that, and I think um, from which piece of that from from that uh, the Lazar Lazar project, right? Yeah, from from that whole like uh, from that whole uh, chair experiment That's or crazy. or that thing. And um, there's a lot of uh, like product that led to the uh, the advancement of, of the U.S. and that's why where we got like a lot of um, like the um, the lazy boy. <laughs> no, <laughs> the, select um, comfort. <laughs> the massage chair. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's black light. That's, that's, <laughs> we have black, black light. Exactly. Like, what is that? It's like something that's like so like, yo, we gotta make something from this, and then it's yeah. just like, oh, uh, like, like TV dinners. <laughs> it's like we magic did it. Ball. Yeah, exactly. We the did magic it, y'all. Eight ball guys, we got it. We're cooking. <laughs> yeah. So supposedly, uh, there's uh, technologies that are um, like uh, 50 years ahead that that they got, but they they've never released. It. Like like any of it, there's um, um ways to like uh, uh cure any kind of like um health condition. Oh wow, um, that's shitty. The CRISPR is kind of crazy too. Shout out yeah, to, oh yeah. the crap. Heard of the CRISPR? That's yeah. that's kind of crazy. R- real quick, you said um, oh, what the fuck did you just say? What was the last thing you said before I cut you off? You said health. Um, the like, inv- the advancements. Yeah. yeah, like fifty years in advance, like uh, the technology. Oh, okay, okay. I remember. I was gonna ask you. Um, do you ever see yourself getting an electric car? Yeah. You, Why? You're not scared that they could just. Oh yeah. There's that movie. There's yeah. There's that movie the, on you Netflix. Know, that's and then they'll have full control of like where you're going. That they'll know where you're going at every time. They could do that with your phone, right? Yeah. They could. Right, they're right. already tracking us with their phone. Right, I signed. I signed up for this TV that's like a uh, so it's a 55 inch TV and it comes with like a commercial board on the bottom and then I think there's a camera, but it's free. And I was like, I'll take a, a free TV. And then they, they it's, there's that. that company that actually does yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so like it, there's a camera and like people are like, oh, it's recording you and there's, there's a microphone. I go, our phones do the same shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. you yeah. know what I mean. Everything we have yeah. that connects to the internet does the same shit. Right, so, right. it's just know, that company knowing knowing how to move in that space. I guess is different. But right, you know, it's funny because uh, gas cars. Uh, it's funny. I was just thinking about the whole like advancements, right? And they're like, yo. Laser disc. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Tracking, tracking. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. If you don't know what tracking is, you was on outside with us. <laughs> the, cra- if the crazy thing is, imagine like uh, we were kind of all born around the same time, right? Like when they had like a track, mm-hmm. right? And like records, there was no Walkman. Like no, they, they could. They were just outside humming to themselves. And yeah, shit. dude. Hey, what's that you singing? Like, oh, it's the new shot. It's like the new joint and shit. Like, I spent a lot of money on DVDs. I did I too. I don't know if yeah, you guys did. did. Yeah, yeah. Shout I, out to Therese who lets me keep them. I'm so sorry. I y'all still come. have my DVDs. They're gonna be I worth still, something, dude. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, like but, CDs. Wait, CDs are worth something? Yeah. So much have you ever looked on eBay? Like especially for even like local rappers, just random ass like yeah. hundred dollar CDs. Well, that's yeah. random. Especially shit. if you have them wrapped, but who has them in the cell phone? How many DVDs do you have, guys? Uh, I got like three bins. <laughs> you but, three billion, but, but dog. That, that, no, no, three bins. But that's between me and Mish. Uh, then so there's, there's some doubles there. Question. Okay, second question. Uh, what is the genre that is? Uh, I was about main, to say that. Yeah. What is the main so genre? So the population is it like, is it like of the Me, Misha's like oh, like yeah. rom com. I fuck the rom com. Misha's like rom coms. Misha's like um. Baby got know, back. Mm, Six. Uh, Trill TV. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh Trill TV. Trill TV. Yeah, um, Trill TV. Bump fights. 
No, uh, boy, dude. uh Grandma's boy. Grandma's oh, boy, dude. That, oh, Nick that, Schwartzen. That was one that, that, like, it was such a hit. They were scared of it, so they just put it on DVD mm-hmm. and they wanted to see that the cult following of yeah. that. And nobody ever mentions that when they talk about like uh, Adam Sandler's like. Uh, like ecosystem happy madison yeah, yeah yeah happy madison happy madison that, sit on my yeah. face yeah. yeah that was uh and then that was so good in living color yes the living color on dvd oh, i need that how you live it what that taught me how to dress the living color taught me how to like how to dress at a certain age i was like oh that's an ill hat i'm gonna get that hat me it too. was also because of the wayne's brothers that they yeah. started doing these super bowl halftime shows oh, the smartest shit, fuck yeah yeah, I, I wanted a hat that Blaine Edwards had in Men on Films. Oh, there <laughs> the, you go. The hey, little, he, he was like, he was a cowboy the fan, right? Damon <laughs> Wayans. <laughs> yeah, he had that mini, like, fucking yeah. hat right here. David <laughs> Allen Gray don't get the love, bro. <laughs> <laughs> David Allen Gray. Oh, Grant. no. Real, real quick, uh, I know we're like at a time, but let's let's close it out with some some stuff we're grateful for. Jan, what are you, what are you grateful for besides that same sweater you want to fucking hmm. do you have on? It's crazy. <laughs> um... I am grateful for you guys. Thank you for for this. Um, I'm looking around and I'm like looking at Gus's toys and uh, sorry, uh, action figures and um, collectibles. Collectibles. <laughs> They're miniature mannequins. Yeah. And it, it reminds me of a time in my life um, when I was playing with GI Joes, right? So there was a like a um, like a day where I asked my my aunt to uh borrow her vhs video camera and it was this huge thing that that would go over your shoulder and usually she's pretty guarded about um lending those kind of things out and i was around maybe eight nine Mm. ten somewhere there what was she recording just you know like family like parties and stuff like that like 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 old school stuff and like um she said yes that day and I made a movie with um, my action figures, my, my G.I. Joes. And I had um, a piano that could um, like uh, sample. So I would like do all the um, the helicopter noises like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like mother mouth like, jokes yeah, exactly. from Police Academy. Yeah, yeah, the right, right. <laughs> Wait, it was like an ASR like ten or something. <laughs> something like that. It was a small. That's uh, Ill. It was a small Casio. At eight or nine, you were sampling. Mm. Yeah, relax. And I was, I was using, <laughs> I was using that as a, um, as as a sound, the the noises and stuff. That's for, funny. For the, for the VHS video that I made, and I would oh, I would also do like, um, you know, like uh, stop motion, and it was, eight or nine. Yeah. That's the frame one. That's claymation type shit, right? Stop yes, motion. Yeah. That's pretty much what like robot chicken is. Yep. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I was I was making robot chicken before there was robot chicken. It was so. a dobo Ooh. chicken. <laughs> you were making rotisserie chicken. It was Swayze. You Jan, heard that. Jan so, <laughs> you heard it. You heard it. So I'm grateful for my Tita Julie. That that's her. That's my auntie that uh, lent me that camera. Julie, and that, I I think that sparked that bug for you. Yeah, that's what sparked the whole like um, videography thing for me. That's lovely. It's because I was enabled by that. That's, that's pretty lovely. beautiful. Yeah. JD, what you got? Um, uh, man, I'm just grateful for life. Um, <laughs> uh, it's easy to say that, but. You know, when you think about it and um, like the stuff we all collectively have gone through individually or as a group or personal on a personal level, um, you learn to respect it more. Like I'm I could say there's days I could, I'm grateful when I wake up. But now there's days when I feel I really feel I really feel like, thank you, Lord. And I never was like that before. Never. Never. And so I'm um, thankful that I... It's crazy, dude. You know? Like, I. there's even times... <laughs> not because I... Well, I... You know... I don't... I need a CPAP. It's like... I really... No, not jokefully, but sometimes I'm like... Lord, I need to wake up tomorrow. You know? And then when you wake up, you're just like... Go get you one. Thank you. Yeah, go Lord. get you one. So... Yeah, go yeah. see your doctor. If you really think it's that bad, you, you go get you one, dog. Well, you know, it's a paranoia effect, too. But yeah, it could, it's, no, it could it's, be bad, too. Yeah. Yeah. Breathing, but, breathing is not a paranoia effect. Yeah. Dry ass mouth in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the Asian men ghost. Yeah. <laughs> that's a no, weird... But, uh, <laughs> that's a weird... But, uh, I, I am... 
I could really say I'm grateful for life. Like a lot of people like to say that shit. You know, like when someone goes up and wins an award, like a music award or whatever, a celebrity, and they're like, thank you, God. Like, how many of them really mean it? Or some say it just to give good press about themselves. But, like, when I say it now, it's like, I really mean it. Wow. That's, that's, that's Especially with beautiful. the stuff, you know, we've talked about in the last episode. It's like, yeah. 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 I'm thankful for all you guys, of course. There's so much to be grateful for, man. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Can I go next? Of course. Um. Uh, my kid's teacher uh, came to me and was like, "We're thinking about taking the kids to California Academy of Science, um, because we're out of district. They won't really give us a discount." And I was like, "Okay." They're like, "Do you uh, do you know anyone that could help us? You got any tips or tricks?" And I was like, "I was like, let me see what I could do." Uh, I put a couple of feel, a, a couple of feelers out there. Um, uh, I text, but I who I text though, very selective, and uh, I got a call back. Wow! Right and, away. Yeah, it, it it was it was very fast, and uh, and he uh, he was like, "What's going on?" And I was like, "Hey, so do you do you know any programs that that can help kids pay pay for their field trip entrance?" Uh, Cause they don't got uh, the school doesn't, not, doesn't have the funding. Like they they can pay for the transportation, but they can't they can't do anything like once they get there. Cause the it, admission. and you know, like not all parents got it right. As like not all parents got it, and this is where we have to be better as humans to try to like try to make it happen for each other. So uh, this person was like, "How much you think?" I was like, 250 maybe three hundred. And then he was like, all right, um, I'm going to give you four and buy everyone lunch. <laughs> buy everyone lunch. And I was like, Phew. I was like, you gonna make me cry. He goes, go on and cry then. <laughs> it was uh, it was Rudy from UP. Wow. Yeah. Oh, UP, man. Shout out, Rudy. Shout, Shout out, Rudy. Rudy, man. Shout out, Rudy. Shout out, OG. Um, we got to get him on. He uh no blinking. And then he was like, tell me how like <sighs> the date got pushed and then he, he he had me go pick up the check. I'm not gonna cash it until like the teacher figures out because if they don't go on a field trip, I'm not giving them the money. Right? I'm, right. I'm gonna give it right back to Rudy because I was like, they didn't use it for what I told you. I'm not gonna try to play games on, on the other people's dime. What's the point? Yeah, yeah. You know, especially because I, I, I co signed this you know what I mean? I, I, I broke with this. Yeah. So uh, reputation. So um, I'm gonna wait till that happens. But shout out to Rue, man. He gave me a, he gave me a, he gave me a solid. He gave me a solid, and it, it's always been from his heart. And then um, I'm just I'm just grateful for good people. I'm I'm grateful for uh, my family. <sighs> Go on, keep talking. What else? Tell us tell us about it, guys. Love the ones you got because they may not be here. Love the ones you got. Just, uh, I, I, uh, my, what I'm grateful for is also similar to that. Um, it's life for sure because, uh, it doesn't matter how much fucking money you have, you can save as much as you want. You can spend as much as you want, but time, time. That's the true currency. That is the only currency you cannot recoup. So spend it wisely. Absolutely. What I've been doing don't is- Don't waste mine. Don't, <laughs> don't waste mine. Uh, recently, I've been having uh, these conversations with my mom, talking about like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, just bullshitting. She tells me a lot about her dad and how great of a man he was. And how he was there helping everyone in the village. And I said, Mom, like, you know, as a nurse, like, you were well respected and you have such a big heart, and we talk about stuff. And he's like, Yeah, I must have got it from my dad. And it's stuff like that. It's, it's the beauty of things. Communication is what I'm grateful for because it has helped build beautiful things. Gus and I have hour long conversations on the fucking random. And 
it goes along with everybody else i've made new friends i have to say shout out to adonis man shout out to everybody who i have met shout out to everyone who i i show curiosity about because the thing is is that you have to have curiosity in order to find out who a person actually is Mm -hmm. you know and uh loss is the hardest thing to go through it's 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 so much but it gives you a better appreciation of what it what's there now so be present don't waste that time i guess those are our last words this is pretty good last words 209 209 stockton youngest uh mayor 